So this is just about ready, um, you know, at home in the sticks and bricks, the fat head dough I always made in the microwave. And that's always what the, the recipe says. So this is our first time trying it out in a non-stick pan. We'll see how this works. Um, you know, we have all the ingredients except cream cheese. We forgot that. So um, again, we'll uh, see how this works. I've got our pizza stone set right here. And then I've got a couple pieces of parchment paper of course, that's what part of what has to happen that lays on the parchment paper. Then we're going to roll it out. And with our unused rolling pin, I don't think we've used this yet, have we, Michelle? We haven't. We haven't used this. And who is it that this is from? Thank you to Kelly. Kelly, thank you so much. We're going to try it out. And uh, she has not yet bludgeoned me with this. So, <laughs> you know, it'll be used for its un... un what? What do you say? Unanticipated intent of actually rolling out food <laughs> instead of keeping Jim in, in line. So. so you can see as I'm stirring this now, it's getting kind of sticky and all and the cheese is just about all melted. It's kind of where we want it to be. So there's some um, the almond flour. I put some Italian seasoning in there as well. Oh, I wondered what the flex were. So that's the that's the flex in there. It's not it's not bugs. Even though we're in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, it's not that mosquitoy here <laughs> right now. Um, but uh, so yeah, it's got that, and then the mozzarella cheese and one egg. There's one large egg in there, and um, I say normally there'd be a bit, of, a bit of cream cheese in there, but we don't have any, so there isn't any cream cheese in this one this time. So I'm gonna turn the burner off. And then we're going to move this over to the pizza stone with the parchment paper. And again, this is the first time that uh, we've attempted fathead pizza in the Airstream. And I think most of you know that Michelle and I are low carb in how we eat, low to no carb um, eaters. And we feel that that's beneficial to our health. Um, you know, your mileage may vary. And your healthcare provider may disagree, but it sure works for us. All right, rolling pin. Woohoo! Let's see how it works. Look at that. Slick. Right now, it's kind of a Michigan shaped crust. See, yeah. there's the thumb. We're in Michigan. So then once you get it flat, what do you do? It's gonna have to bake in the oven. I've got the oven preheating at 425. So it'll go in there, the crust by itself, for just a little bit to kind of firm itself up and get ready. And after that, then we're gonna put the toppings on, which is gonna be very basic and very traditional this time around. We're gonna have cheese and sauce and pepperoni. Mm, Actually, yum. my favorite. So. Sounds good. That's it. Now we wait. All right. Timer's gone off. 10 minutes. That's what it took. And uh, the crust is starting to look a little puffy and stuff like it's supposed to. Let's see if we can get this out of here without like hurting ourselves. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Ooh. It's really puffy. Yeah. Will that settle? I hope so. Might have to poke some holes in it. Got 
this all set. She's going back in the oven to cook. We are just like that. Close her up. Set a timer. And we get to eat soon. Yay! Yay. delicious.